Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we're gonna be going through segmentation and how to create a segment on Clavio. Now, segmentation is super important. You really don't wanna be sending every single email to every single subscriber. That is gonna be a deliverability disaster. Now, I'm not gonna to spend too much time explaining you know, why segmentation is important because it's likely that if you made it to this video, you already understand the importance. But basically, when you send segmented emails, you generally result in better engagement and better profitability for your emails. So you wanna send personalized content to your subscribers and that is usually what gets the best results in email marketing. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a segment on Clavio and then I'm gonna be showing you guys the most important segments that I recommend setting up. So I always set these segments up every time I have a brand new client. So without further ado, let's get stuck right into it. Now, the segmentation that I use the most is segmenting based on engagement. So these are ones that I use almost every single week. Now, basically what that means is I'm segmenting subscribers based on if they open my emails or not. So it's really important to send emails to engaged subscribers because if you're just sending every email to every subscriber, you're going to run into massive issues with deliverability. So you want to keep that segment tight that you you contact every single week. So what we do is we go to our Clavio dashboard and we click lists and segments and then we click create list and segment on the top right corner and it's going to give us an option between creating a list and a segment. Now the difference between a list and a segment is that a list is a stable stagnant list of customers. So basically it's the starting point. Now what's going to happen is whenever you get new subscribers they're going to end up in a main master list and that is your starting point point. and that list can't really be modified in any way it's just a stable list that doesn't really change. So now if you want to extract information from that list that's where segmentation comes in. So we can segment that list based on multiple factors so what we're going to be Doing is out of our main list who are the subscribers that have opened our emails within the last 90 days so that's a perfect example so what we're going to do is we're going to create segments and these are our dynamic groups of people from our list so what I'm going to call this is our 90 day engaged and what we're going to do is we're going to start with the customers who are in our list so if someone is or is not in a list and what we're going to do is click is in newsletter list so basically our main master newsletter list and then what we do is we click and and we click select a condition what someone has or has not done so we go yep op opened email at least once in the last 90 days and what we do now is we click create segment and now we've created a segment of the customers who have opened an email within the last 90 days and these are the subscribers that you want to contact regularly with your regular weekly campaigns now what you can do is this can be a range so you can start with 90 days and if you see that your metrics are really healthy then you can open that range a little bit up so you can say 120 days and if you notice that your unsubscribe rates are pretty healthy and you know you're not you're not getting reported to spam too often then you can keep it at 120 but if you notice that you know your numbers start going in the opposite direction then you can bring it back down so it's going to be a balancing act and it's going to vary substantially based on your subscribers uh, but basically that's what you want to do so it's between what 90 days 120 and i've even seen 180 days work effectively sometimes as well okay now that's how we create our, our regular 90 days engage segment next is going to be our vip customer segment so these are going to be our most important customers so this is our top like 10% of customer base. So these are gonna be the customers that buy from you guys the most often and the most expensive product. So you gotta treat your VIP customers like absolute royalty. So for these subscribers, what you can do is you can send them loyalty discounts, you can give them early access to sales, you can give them free shipping offers. You can even do quantity discounts because again, these are customers that buy from you the most often and the most expensive. So they're used to placing big orders. So you can say something like, you know, if you sell like t-shirts, you can say buy five and you get one free and that's gonna increase your average order value substantially okay so this is how we're gonna create this segment we're gonna click on back to Clavio and we're gonna go lists and segments again and again we click create segment over here we click segment again and then what we do is we'll just call this VIP customers and what we do is again our starting point is gonna be our newsletter list so if someone is or is not in a list so a person is in newsletter list so this is going to be whatever your master list is you might have it named something else but your main group of subscribers then what we do is we click and and what we're going to do is what someone has or has not done and then the metric is going to be placed order at least three times in the last 16 weeks so that's the first filter that we add and then another one that we add is going to be what someone has or has not done and we click revenue greater than 
And what you wanna put here is a number that's much higher than your average order value. So this is gonna vary based on your specific products that you sell. So say you sell t-shirts and your t-shirts cost $50 each. So here what you could do is, you could do say $100. So what you wanna do is you wanna calculate what is the top 10% average order value for your entire customer list and you wanna put that number in there. And basically what you've done is you've created this segment and you click create segment. Now, the next segment that we're gonna create is our nearly theirs. So these are customers that are almost there, almost ready to make a purchase, but they're just sitting on that fence. So let's create this segment right now. We're gonna go back to lists and segments again. Click create list slash segment. Click segment again. I'm gonna call this one nearly theirs. So we're gonna start with our newsletter list. So if someone is in newsletter and what someone has or has not done. So what we've done is at least someone that's opened emails three times in the last 30 days or someone that's clicked our emails in the last 60 days. So it's gonna be someone that's super interested in our product. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do what someone has or has not done. And this time the metric is gonna be clicked email at least three times in the last 60 days. And last what we're gonna do is and what someone has or hasn't done. And then the metric that we're gonna do is placed order zero times. So it's gonna be someone who's opened our emails or clicked our emails pretty regularly in the last 60 or 30 days and they haven't placed an order ever before. So it's gonna be people who are super interested to, in, in your product but there's just something holding them back. Now you gotta really put yourself in your customer's shoes and figure out why they're not making that purchase and offer them some information about your products to make them feel more comfortable making that purchase and if they don't still make that purchase after your informational email, then send them a follow-up email and give them a discount. And that generally works really, really well. And again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click create segment and we are done. Okay, so here's the last one. This one's a bit of a bonus one. So what I always create is a holiday shopper segment. So this is someone for you guys who generally likes shopping for sales. So your customers who, who come around during your sale periods and they buy heavily discounted products. So whenever you guys are running a flash sale or if you run a Valentine's Day sale or a, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever that might be, we can create that segment and send emails to that segment every time you're running a discount or a sale. But what I do is I create the segment based on customers who made a purchase during Black Friday. So let's create the segment. We're gonna go back to the list and segments, create a list and segment, click segment, I'll call this one holiday shoppers. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is it's what someone has or has not done, placed order at least once, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the dates. So I click between dates and then here I'm gonna do whatever my Black Friday holiday period was last year. So for some of our clients, you know, they started on the 1st of November. So I'm gonna go 11-01-2022. They went all the way till Black Friday, which was the 25th. So the 25th of November, 2022. And that's it, I can create that segment and then we're done. So for these customers, anytime you have a discount or anytime you have a sale, Make sure you add this segment and you'll notice that you see a nice little bump in your sales. Now that covers everything for today's video. If you found this video available, please consider subscribing and liking this video as well. Now, thank you so much for making it this far. I really appreciate your time. I'm dropping content every single week regarding email marketing. So keep an eye out and click that notification bell for updates as soon as the videos drop. Thanks so much again for making it this far. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.